is up beautiful simmers welcome back to my channel it's coco sims and i am so glad that you decided to tune in and watch yet another video i know it has been so long since i filmed a p valley video i am so 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 sorry if you guys don't know i started a new let's play um it called family ties about this family that has a whole lot of crazy shit going on and people really liked that video i guess because i think it has like 5k or i don't know 5,000 or 6,000 views now um the second episode has about a thousand views now so people were really really loving that episode and i just wanted to make sure that i was putting out another episode for them but I did not forget about my P-Valley girls, okay? We are back with another episode, and we are here with Miss Janae. If you guys watched the last episode of P-Valley, then you know that Janae gave birth to her baby, Gianni. Last episode, her and her man, Jay, aka Big Baby Jay the Rapper, had their baby, Gianni, in the last episode. And yeah, Janae is a mom now, y'all. Bitch, I'm a mother. No drama, okay? She's a mom now. And if you guys think that Janae looks a little bit different, it's because she does. Um, get into the body. Please, get into this body. This body is crazy, okay? Look, where's the waist? Do you guys see the waist? Where no waist detected, okay? And let's get into the butt. Um, if you guys saw Janae, like, in previous episodes, you know her butt was, like, really big, but it didn't, like, really match her body that well. Janae went and got a BBL. Yes, she did. She actually got a mommy makeover, which is, like, a tummy tuck and a BBL, kind of. So, yeah, she went and got her mommy makeover, you know. She wasn't liking her postpartum body. She had a lot of baby weight. Her titties were sagging and, you know... The weight didn't go to all the places that she wanted it to go. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with having a mom body after you give birth. I mean, you just carried a life or whatever. But Janae was like, I'm not feeling this. And so, of course, she told Big Baby Jay, like, hey, I need my body done. I just carried your child and, you know, the body's not giving. You know, she had a BBL before and, you know, it wasn't giving anymore. So, of course, he gave her $10,000 to go and get her body redone and she looks good okay she looks amazing the body is giving everything is giving face is giving she also got a little bit of botox in her face so her face is softer you know she just went and you know did everything she did it up big why not she deserves it and she looks amazing and over here, I know I said in the last episode that we were going to be aging Gianni up, and I was not playing. You know, I don't like playing with babies. It's so pointless. So we aged Miss Gianni Amore up, and she looks so pretty. Look at her, guys. She is gorgeous. Um, <clears throat> If you guys didn't know, I don't think I mentioned it. Janae is half Trinidadian and half white, so she's mixed. So I wanted her and Big Baby Jay's child to look like an even mix of both of them, and she does. She's beautiful. I don't know who she looks like, really. I mean, I think she kind of looks like Janae, but she also kind of looks like her dad, but she just kind of doesn't look like either of them at the same time. But yeah, this is her. She is so cute. And Janae is just giving her some hugs and some snuggles because we are actually going to be dropping her off with her daddy today she is going to be spending a few days with her daddy because we're going on a vacation i don't know if you guys remember but in the last episode i told you guys that we are going on a vacation and i meant it you know we are we are going to be going on a vacation to mexico today i am so excited i have a lot set up by city girl sims and it is beautiful and i am so excited for you guys to see it 
But yeah, Janae's just talking to her baby, giving her some hugs and snuggles and kisses and stuff like that before she has to drop her off with her daddy for a few days. And you know, Janae has really been loving being a mother and it's so surprising because Janae was a city girl in every sense of the word. You know, she was a stripper, she was at the club every night making money. She still hasn't gone back to the strip club. You know, she's just been letting Jay take care of her as she should she wants to spend as much time with her baby as possible but she does want to start working again soon after she gets back from this vacation we're gonna look at some jobs who the fuck is this hold up y'all because this i need to oh this is our maid y'all what the fuck is he carrying one of our statues one of our He's carrying one of our little decorations. He scared the shit out of me, girl. Oh my god, y'all. He scared me. But anyway, we're gonna go drop Gianni off of her daddy so she can be with him for a few days while we go on this trip to Mexico with the girls. So Janae's gonna drop her off and then we are going to head to the airport and meet up with everybody else a couple hours before our flight. So I will see you guys at the airport after we drop the baby off. All right, you guys, we have arrived at the airport. This is a humongous lot. It is 64 times 64, I think, or 50 times 50. Uh, 50 by 50, 64 by 64, something like that. It is a humongous lot. And all the girls are here ready to catch their little flight. I mean, everybody is dressed really comfy for the flight except for Ashanti. So I'm actually going to change her into something more comfortable because girl, who takes a flight in jeans? I don't know anybody who takes a flight in jeans. So let's find her something more comfortable. Um, If it ever loads, like, hello? We take a flight in this? Like, if I were going to take a flight, I would want to be as comfy and cute as possible. And we're going somewhere hot. We're going to Mexico. We're going to be going to Cancun specifically. So I think that's fine. It is snowing in, um, where are we? San Maishuno? Look, look at all of this snow, you guys. It is winter in San Maishuno. Look at this airport, by the way. JFK International Airport. A beautiful, beautiful fucking airport, you guys. This airport is by SimCity Girls. It's absolutely amazing. But yeah, look at all of this snow. It's disgusting. Look, y'all, there are airplanes in the back. Like, hello? How beautiful is this, you guys? SimCity Girls, if you're watching this, I am so obsessed with you and I love your builds. Look at how the airplanes are like in midair, like they're taking off. We finna be in one of them airplanes, y'all. I wish that there were like lots. I mean, I know that someone has a lot that looks like an airplane because I was watching Complex Sims Let's Play. If y'all don't watch um, Complex Sims, you need to get into that because he be killing it, okay? He's so entertaining, y'all. Like, one of the best, one of the baddest. But I know that there's an airplane lot because I saw him use one, but I don't know. I can't find one, so whatever. But this is a beautiful airport, and I thought it'd be so cute to just come here before a flight, you know? We are catching flights, y'all. We are getting flewed out. All of this, all of this um, vacation, all of this, all of the flights, the hotels, the all in art. It's a resort. Okay, we don't stay in hotels. We have money. We stay in resorts. You bitches stay in hotels. We stay in resorts. Okay, but <laughs> Monet, why don't you have shoes? I'm not even going to ask why Monet doesn't have shoes on, y'all. And also, this is going to be some tea because. Monet is coming on the voc vacation with us and Monet has no idea about what's going on with Kehlani and Zakari and Monet got her ass beat in one of the previous episodes by Amber. Amber dragged Monet by her by her hair, by her ears, by she drags Monet by anything she can get a hold of and she's still getting over that or whatever, but we are going to go ahead and catch this flight real quick. And we will see you guys when we are in another time zone, okay? You guys, it is the next day. Um, in real life and in the game, 
I had to stop recording because I don't know I wasn't feeling inspired really like I was excited I'm so excited for the vacation because I've never filmed a vacation episode but <clears throat> I just wasn't feeling it I wasn't feeling inspired I wasn't feeling in my groove or whatever and it was really late at night it was like three when I was trying to film or two it is like 10 something right now it is 10 14 the next day to be exact I only film at night because that's just what works for me I don't know I play The Sims, like, if it's my day off from work, I will literally play The Sims all day. Obviously, I have to do my laundry and shit, but I play The Sims at day, and I film my Let's Plays at night, and that's just how I do it. That's just what works for me, but I'm back. I am feeling inspired and rejuvenated. I went ahead and rolled a blunt with my new obsession, which is Honey Duchess. Honey Duchess have been around for, like, forever, but it's like I'm just now trying them for the first time, and... I don't know I love it love it so much I like that it's like a wood but it's not a wood you know for all my for all my um weed heads stoners potheads whatever you know what I'm talking about so I smoked a little joint and I am here and I am excited and I am inspired again for you know the plot of this whole little episode but y'all we are here at La Via okay I failed my Spanish class in high school so don't make fun of me, but I think it's um, La Villa Royale, Mexico, okay? So we are in Mexico, y'all. You bitches have never been outside the United States, okay? We are in Mexico. <laughs> I'm just playing, y'all. I've never been, I mean, I'm from California. I've been to like Tijuana, Mexico and shit, but I've never actually been to Mexico, so I too am poor. Don't feel bad, but they're not poor they are rich and i just want to show you guys what the little resort is looking like let's put the roofs up all right so this is the resort not a hotel it is an all in well it's not all inclusive because like there's no bar but let's just pretend that this is an all-inclusive resort okay y'all because it's giving luxury as it should but these rooms are all individual suites and each girl has her own suite to stay in. I'm not really going to do a tour because this lot would be so hard to do a tour for. But we are literally living on the ocean for the next three days. The sun is just coming up. It's six o'clock. We just landed in Mexico a few hours ago. And yeah, you guys, I'm just trying to show you how beautiful it is here. Like, I really love Sulani. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. I love Sulani. I just love that we have an island that we can, like, pretend is wherever. I think Sulani is meant to be, like, Hawaii because, um, the Polynesian-style tattoos that come with the pack. But... Some people say that it's just supposed to be some other type of Polynesian or Pacific Island, but I don't care what it is. For me today, it's Mexico. It could easily be a Hawaii. It could be any island destination, and Sulani is definitely in my top five or top three maybe favorite packs. I don't know. I really love the city living pack because apartments are my favorite thing to decorate, but let's get on with the let's play we have a lot to do and not a lot of time to do it because i don't want this episode to be too long you guys like shorter episodes i can tell by my youtube analytics but y'all i like to talk i talk so much ever since i was a little girl people told me i talk too much so i mean i don't know i'm trying to make these episodes shorter you guys but we just have so much to do and like I said, I talk too much, but it's 5.46 a.m. And we are most likely going to go out for a nice little breakfast. And yeah, everybody's here. It looks like Janae has a headache and she's feeling sad about something. Oh, you're hungover. You got drunk on the flight here. Janae. Oh my gosh. Also. I gave all of the girls this, um, where is it? It should be in Somology. Let's see. I gave all of the girls this alcohol heavyweight trait out of the, um, what is it? The trait store or what is this called? The reward store. Okay, so I gave them 
all this alcohol heavyweight trait because we're going to be drinking a lot we're in mexico we're going to be drinking a lot of tequila and the drinking is not going to stop because janae really needs this you know she's really sad about all of the shit that's been going on with her baby daddy she just needs a break from life she needs a break from reality and she wants to be surrounded by her girls you know she loves being a mom but everybody needs a break sometimes so we're probably gonna go get some breakfast honestly it's really early but you know food takes forever to come in the sims so why not before we do that though get into the outfits please get into these outfits because i spent like an hour giving these bitches vacation outfits and they look good okay they look so good let's get into this outfit monet honestly is one of my favorite outfits for this episode or for this vacation this is monet's redemption arc okay she got her ass beat she got her ass beat and she needs to prove to you guys that she is still a bad bitch even though she got her ass beat okay get into the versace shoes versace can you bitches spell versace i wish i could cover up her shoes spell versace close your eyes and spell versace use it in a sentence no <laughs> I'm just playing but y'all she looks so beautiful and what really does it for me is the Versace purse like she ate she ate she ate she can't fight but she ate this outfit okay she understood the assignment Janae looks beautiful you know Janae had to do it up big she looks so good get into the freaking details I mean there's not much details. I mean, her chain is clipping because of her sharp ass collarbones, I guess, but she looks good, okay? The little icy watch that she got from her baby daddy. I mean, Janae's baby daddy ain't shit. He, he ain't shit. It's true, but you can't say that he doesn't take care of her. He does, I mean, financially. He don't take care of her emotionally at all. Just last week, he caught him she caught him texting some random bitch and sending nudes and whatever and it's like every time he's like we're not together we're not together but he treats her like they're together and she's like okay well if we're not together then what are we and she never gets an answer and she really hates it and she's just you know she needs this vacation all right and hopefully you know we'll find some spanish you know some sexy spanish poppies to you know flirt with or whatever we will see but it's morning time and I want them to get drunk on the beach and have a really nice little brunch. So we are going to do that. I put down a few lots. This is Club Tropico, not Club Calico. This is Club Tropico, you know, like the Mexican version of Club Calico, period. Angela's Bar and Grill, Pedro's Pub. I redid, um... What did I redo? I thought I redid a, a pub here. Oh yeah, this was supposed to be, um, you know, the sandbar and now it's Pedro's pub. So we have a few places to go. We're gonna go have Angela's Bar and Grill for breakfast because I'm pretty sure they have breakfast there. And yeah, y'all. I'm literally living vicariously through them because I cannot afford to go to Mexico. But I might be going to Colorado soon, but you know, it's not giving Mexico at all. This is taking so long to load, so I will see you guys when we get there. All right, you guys, we have arrived at the restaurant, Angela's Bar and Grill. This lot is so pretty, you guys. All the tables are outside. There are no indoor tables. We are right on the water, a beautiful view of the beach, an open bar, or not an open bar, but you know, a little bar area, some water balloons, shit like that. It's just really pretty out here, and I really love it. So we are going to go ahead and just order some food, because y'all know that ordering food or going out to eat takes so long in The Sims. All right, so this is what they have at the restaurant. A lot of drinks, a lot of margaritas, and we definitely finna tap into that. They have all types of Mexican food, berry Belgian waffles, 
breakfast foods, tamales. And yeah, so we're all going to get mimosas because it's early as fuck in the morning. So we're just going to get mimosas. Hmm. Kehlani is going to have the avocado toast. Um, Sayori is going to have berry Belgian waffles. Janae is going to have an egg white omelet and Ashanti is going to get that too. And then Monet is going to have the eggs Benedict. $127 for our little breakfast. So yeah, we're going to order this food and then I'm going to have Ashanti order us some drinks at the bar. And you guys, there's... Oh shit, I accidentally hopped into build mode but there's mexican music playing y'all and it is so funny to me it's just such a little vibe but yeah let's order drinks for the group let's all do a shot of tequila and if this isn't anybody's margarita we might steal this margarita too well here come our girls we're just gonna get a little drink at the bar they look so cute, y'all. They're so cute. Janae is really over here having this. She's had a headache all day. Girl, you just need to relax. Like, for real. Here come our shots. Look. Period, Monet. Oh. The camera hates me, you guys. Damn, y'all took them shots quick. Damn. Okay, Sayori isn't done with hers. We're going to be drinking a lot, you guys. And Sayori looks so good, you guys. Look at her. It's the brown skin for me. My game is lagging, of course. Let me clear this. This is a Maxis lot, by the way. There's no custom content at all. It's just naturally beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, we're all gonna go sit back down. Monet, where are you at? She's gonna sit down? No, don't chat with him. All right, here they come. Whose margarita is this? Monet, is this your margarita? When did you get a margarita? The drinking not gonna stop y'all. It's really not. Sit down. You didn't have to stand up just to drink your margarita. Like, please. Sayori, where's Sayori? Oh. So now we're just waiting on our food to get here. And y'all know food takes forever to get here in The Sims. I hate it so much. But look at our girls, y'all. They look so cute. And the sun is finally starting to come out. I love it. So our girls are just chatting amongst themselves. Monet is sitting here smoking a blunt on the beach in Mexico. Like, please tell me that's not such a vibe. But the girls are just talking and Janae's like, I really needed this. Like, my baby daddy has been putting me through hell and it's just been ridiculous. And Sayori's like, girl, I don't know how you do it and like how you handle being a single mother and you know all this baby daddy drama all this man drama like you know it's honestly just crazy to me and Janae's like I mean he does take care of the baby he loves his daughter and you know he buys me nice things but like does that mean anything if he doesn't really want to be in a relationship with me and so she's just confiding in them and you know telling them how she feels about this shit let's see I want to have Monet join the conversation Let's ask her how to help. Like, girl, anything you need, we're here from you. Everybody is just going through it. Like, she's, they're both sick. But their moodlets are fine, so. Oh, massive hangover. Y'all just started drinking. Please don't be dramatic. But yeah, Monet's like, we're here for you, girl, and we love you. And for the next three days, don't worry about him. Fuck him. You know. It's just about you having fun and, you know, doing everything that you deserve because for nine whole months you sat in the house and, you know, carried your baby. So now we get to turn up. Oh, my game just lagged so hard, y'all. But yeah, 
we're gonna wait and see how long it takes for this damn food to get here y'all i'm gonna set a timer actually all right you guys the food finally came it's like nine something now so the food took like two hours to come so it better be good it really better be good but it does look good everybody got their mimosa she got her waffles this avocado toast looks mad good for some reason i don't know it just looks real good kaylani looks real good period kaylani and then Janae got her omelet and her mimosa. The food do look good. But everybody's just chatting amongst themselves. What are y'all talking about? What's this? Talk about money? <laughs> Period. They're talking about money. She's like, yeah, girl. I had my sugar daddy send me like 10 grand for this trip. <laughs> Big Baby J is paying for like their flights and the hotel and everything. But you know. The girls gotta have they spending money. Ashanti, will you please not be that person and sit down? Don't be that person, please. Go sit. It's like, why do Sims do weird shit? I don't understand. And my game is really lagging right now, y'all. Who's calling Janae? You got quite the positive reputation, no. We still don't know what job Janae wants, so we're not going to do any of that. What's this? Sentiment gained. You're so fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you, and I hope you feel that way about me, too. Oh, Kehlani and Sayori got a sentiment. That's so cute. Kehlani, are you eat your food? All right. Everybody's done with their food? Ashanti needs to drink her drink, though. Is that even Ashanti's drink, or did she drink someone else's drink? I don't know, man. But we're gonna go get some more drinks from the bar. I mean, it's 9 o'clock in the morning, but what do they say? It's 5 o'clock somewhere. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. So let's order drinks for the group. Let's do... Should we do a shot of vodka? I mean, we're in Mexico. We're gonna do a shot of tequila. And I'm gonna have this girl get up because this is where we wanna sit. She was getting a shot of whiskey. Okay, Carrie Underwood, I see you. Oh my god, my game is so laggy, you guys. This is a Maxis match lot, so I don't know why it's lagging. Oh my god, not Sayori being drunk already. Oh my god, she's drunk? I thought you were an alcohol heavyweight. Maybe I forgot to give it to her. I don't need anybody passing out on this vacation. So let's get rid of that and we are we can get drunk all over again. It's not a problem. And Sayori's a serial romantic. She wants to have 20 bays. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Maybe we can make it happen in Mexico. They look so good, you guys. Oh my gosh. Hold on. I'm finna delete some people because my game is lagging. Is this a waiter? Oh, let's not delete the waiter, but he can go. Brian. I think it's just too many Sims on the lot. So, sorry, but y'all gotta go. It's not about you. Our shots are here. Damn, Janae snatched her shot quick as hell, didn't she? Like, damn. Ashanti downed her shot. Let's dance to this Spanish music. Let's dance together. Sayori, stop talking and just drink. Just drink. Let's go dance. There we go. Sayori finished her shot. I wish you could dance and drink at the same time, but unfortunately, The Sims is stupid. Aww. They're so cute. Guys, look at this beautiful view. It's so pretty. I mean, like, fuck them. Look at Sulani. Honestly, beautiful. 
Okay, Sayori. Look at she's getting it. She's so cute. Oh. Period. Can we get some some different dancing? Oh, see, yeah, Ashanti. That wasn't cute. Let's have Monet do a little pose. Let's do some Black King Cinema. Should we do Bust It? I like Pokemon. This one's cute. Yes, period. I know that's right. Okay. The girls are having a good time. I mean, Ashanti looks bored, but maybe she's just really drunk. Period. They're so cute. I wonder, like, what Janae is going to do when she gets home. Because, obviously, her and Big Baby J aren't on, like, the best terms. Like, it's like they're not arguing, but Janae feels like she's begging somebody to love her at this point. And that's something that we don't do no matter what, okay? So, I don't know. I feel really bad, but... This is just all about her getting her groove back, basically, okay? She's trying to get back into her bad bitch era, you know? And meanwhile, where's Kehlani? <clears throat> Kehlani is in her villain era. Because how the fuck... I mean, okay, if you guys remember in the last episode, Kehlani over here... The last episode was like forever ago, I know you guys, but in the last episode, she and Bryson made things official and she cut Zakari off. But it's like, how do you fuck someone's boyfriend for like two years or longer and then go on vacation with them? I mean, like, who does that? She is in her villain era. I love Kehlani, but I don't know. I pray for her sake that Monet does not find out anything or hear anything about her and her man while they're on this trip. Because, like, I mean, Monet can't fight. But that might make that might be the thing that makes her get her shit together. Who knows? We order in more drinks, more shots of tequila. Cause we trying to get turned up and drunk on the beach. So they over here talking and Ashanti is like, girl, how do you feel about Monet being on this trip with us? Like, how do you feel about her, you know? literally being right down the hall for three days when you know you and her man had that thing going because you know kaylani and ashanti are roommates so obviously ashanti knows all about the whole thing with zakari and kaylani's like girl i'm not worried about it like we stopped i cut him off and you know that was that and it's like you know there's been no contact since and maybe that doesn't make it better but you know i feel like there's no reason for her to know if they're you know we're not doing anything anymore. Like, why cause her that pain? Why cause that drama if it's not even... It's it's irrelevant. It's old news, you know? And Ashanti's like, I don't know. Like, if you were sleeping with my man, I don't care how long ago it was. I would honestly want to beat your ass, you know? But, you know, girl, I got your back. You know, I'm not going to say nothing. And Kaylani's like, yeah, girl, I know. She took her little shot, period. And they just, like you know fuck that we finna have fun all right you guys the girls are out here having a blast on the little speed what you call it um what are these called the little speed boats they're out here having the time of their life i mean especially janae which i love for her because she really needed this and ashanti's on one of these things too she's having her a good little time okay not she can do tricks on it i know <laughs> not she can do tricks on it <laughs> sorry guys i have a dirty mind okay but they are really having fun sayori's on one of these little things i know that's right period it's just the vibes for me they're so cute i've been wanting to play with more people lately um, besides like the usual people like Ashanti, Kehlani, Janae. I wanted to play with like a bunch of the girls so I think this vacation was the perfect way to do it and they're having so much fun you guys. It's honestly so cute. I don't know why Monet swims like she's a mermaid but <laughs> okay. 
period this really makes me want to be on a beach in mexico like it, they're really over here having the time of their lives all right you guys so janae was just chilling you know just doing her thing and this man approached her and he was like you know what's up like you're really cute like you know what are you doing here type shit like you know who let you sit here alone type shit you know and janae's like does that work on all the girls that you talk to like does that work on them and he's like you know on the regular ones maybe but i can tell for a girl like you it's gonna take a little bit more work than that and his name is carmelo santos and i don't know y'all they're flirting they're hitting it off or whatever and they're just talking or whatever and he's like so what you doing out here are you from mexico like are you are you from the island or whatever and janae's like no i'm trinidadian but i'm just on vacation with my girls or whatever and he's like oh dope dope you know i'm from here i live you know about 20 minutes away from here on boat like, you know by boat and she's like okay i see you do you speak spanish and he's like see sí. <laughs> I can't speak Spanish, y'all. So he like, yep. And she's like, okay, okay. And so they're talking or whatever. And he's like, you know, where are you from? She's like, you know, I'm from the city. I live in San Maishuno. Whatever, whatever. And so they're talking it up and everything. And he's like, all right, word. Where are you staying? And she's like, oh, I'm staying at La Villa, La Villa Royale, however you say it. And he's like, oh, dope. I stayed there before. Dope. And yeah, y'all, they're just talking or whatever. And I don't know. Should we flirt with him and just see where things go, you guys? Let's compliment his appearance. And I don't know what should we do. I don't want to ask if he's single. Like, we don't want to do too much. But we can exchange numbers. Let's exchange numbers with Carmelo. And I'm not going to lie to y'all. He is cute. Like, way cuter than her baby daddy way cuter all right so she's getting his number what the fuck no kofi said hey babe want to have a quick woohoo session no disgusting janae doesn't even like kofi like that i don't know why he would do that but <laughs> kofi be trying to fuck anything and everything i swear what should we say what should we say should we ask a risque question? All right, let's ask a risque question. Like, you know, what you doing out here alone? Like, you don't got no girlfriend or nothing to get to? And he's like, nah, I'm here with my homies. We're just on vacation. And he was like, you know, maybe we can link you and your homegirls later or whatever. And she's like, yeah, like that sound good. Oh, she's blowing a kiss. Okay, Janae. It says, throughout the conversation, Janae got the impression that Carmelo finds her quite attractive, making her wonder if she has the right idea. Okay, so he does think she's cute, you know. He's feeling her. They feeling each other. Suggestive look. Girl, don't go nowhere. They always trying to walk off when shit get good. Suggestive look. Janae has noticed that Carmelo's eyes are lingering on them more and more. There's an intensity to their stare, and with their attention fixed squarely upon them, this may be the chance to move things into more intimate direction. We gonna accept his advances, cause fuck our baby daddy. We F and F. We fuck nigga free all summer long. I mean, it's winter in San Maishuno, but it's summer in real life. We F and F, okay? Fuck your baby daddy, girl. We gonna flirt with him, because, I mean, why not? What should we do? I don't want to be too bold because, you know, we just met him. We not going to kiss him, y'all. We not going to kiss him. But, ooh, let's sweet talk him. Go here. All right, period. So they flirting and everything, and he's like, okay, okay. Can I buy you a drink or whatever? And she's like, you know, if you want to or whatever. So we going to have him buy her a drink. Ooh, let's see what it says. We're controlling him now. It says, I ain't a catch. Carmelo has noticed someone quite attractive and is hoping they will find interest in them too. Oh, so he really is feeling Janae, y'all. He feeling her sexual desire from high desire. He's horny just talking to her. Oh, wow. He's feeling flirty. 
Y'all, should we like really talk to him? I mean, he got ice on his wrist and shit. If he was like a lame or a regular, Janae would not pay him no attention, but he's fine. And he iced out or whatever. Y'all, I made this in myself, by the way. It's the horniness for me, and they're just flirting. Like nothing has even happened, and he's horny. Um, speaking of that, in my next episode, I might be doing some Wicked Whim stuff, exclusive content for people who pledge to my Patreon. I made a Patreon, and I'm going to start posting uncut versions of P-Valley and all of my, or all of my other Let's Plays, my one other Let's Play. Um, for all of my Let's Plays, I'm going to start posting an uncut version on my Patreon. Not this episode, because we're going to close this episode out soon. But in the next episode, if y'all want to see a little nasty nasty pledge to my patreon and yeah y'all we gonna have him buy janae a drink we gonna have him buy her order a drink for janae we gonna have her buy her whatever she asked him for and you know janae gonna ask for some liquor and he's like you know i'm really feeling you and you know i gotta get going soon but we can have this drink together or whatever and you know, I'd really like to take you out tomorrow night if you're, you know, if you're not too busy, if you don't got nothing planned. And Janae's like, well, I'm here for three days and, you know, with my girls, but I'm sure we could do a little dinner date together. Like, that'd be cool. That's fine or whatever. You know, she trying to play it. She trying to play it hard to get or whatever, but she is really feeling him. Let's see. We don't got no moodlets or nothing, but she is feeling him. Like, why not? You know, why not just let loose and get some male attention on her vacation? Because her baby daddy don't be paying her no mind. What happened? Janae turned down his drink. Oh, Janae, like, I can buy my own drink. But, you know, I got you on that dinner, though. <laughs> Janae out here trying to play hard to get. Janae, don't do that to him. Come sit with him don't do that to Carmelo like why would you flirt in his face and then when he asked to buy you a drink you say no we gonna let him buy her a drink I don't care let's put them in a group together cuz not Janae trying to play hard to get like girl we can't remove from group oh we've been seated at a table what whatever we're gonna have some drinks I don't care Let's act like Carmelo is paying for her shot of tequila, y'all. Carmelo, you coming? Come sit. And we gonna have Carmelo order him a drink too. We gonna, you know, get a shot of tequila too. Can I join in on the fun? I don't know who's having sex, but somebody's having sex on this lot, you guys. Carmelo, ugh, our bartender looks so sick. Look at her eyes. Oh my god. But yeah, Carmelo gonna be like, yeah, I'm paying for your drink, you know. Pretty girl like you don't need to be buying her own drink. And Janae's like, whatever. You know, whatever. She playing it cool or whatever. But Carmelo is feeling her. So let's have him, you know, talk her up a little bit. Because she's trying to play hard to get. Let's tell her that her ass is fat. Like, you look good, Ma. Like, you look real good. And she's like, thank you. You know, I just had a baby. And he's like, a baby? Where? Like, a baby where? And she nodded her head. She liked that he didn't, you know, he didn't show no type of emotion when, you know, she said she had a baby. He just like, damn, you look good. You don't look like you got no kids. Like, you know, you look good, girl. So... Janae liked that. She liked that a lot because a lot of dudes start acting weird when she tells them that she's a stripper and she's ready for dudes to start being weird when she tells them that, you know, she has a baby. But Carmelo didn't care. He like, girl, you look good. I don't care if you got no kids. Like, <laughs> and y'all, I think we're going to wrap this episode up here. Janae is over here trying to play hard to get, but she over here smiling at the attention. Like, girl, she just like me. Let's compliment her appearance and what else should we do well let's tell her that um we love everything about her like girl you look good you just my type all right you guys i think that this is a perfect place to close out this video and i also think that my reshade was not on this entire time because it just turned itself on 
that shit just pissed me off but i feel like i say that in every episode y'all probably think i got ang anger issues but this game just pisses me off okay but yeah we are going to go ahead and close out this video the girls over here are still on the jet skis kaylani is over here talking to some townies she's trying to figure out all the best mexican spots from the, lo the locals or whatever monet is just over here chilling by the bar y'all already know she's an alcoholic and yeah the girls are just having not she's in the water with her louis vuitton bag she's like this is just one of my little bags you know like i don't care if this one gets wet you know <laughs> but yeah you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this episode i hope you guys you know are excited for another episode i hope you guys you know just enjoyed the vibes of this episode and yeah this is getting a little long so we're gonna go ahead and close this out i love you guys so 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 much thank you for watching another video thank you guys for getting me to 600 subscribers love you guys so so much we are on the road to 1000 subscribers on youtube and i'm just so happy that you guys like my videos because i know that you know a lot of people struggle when they first start and i've only been doing this for like a month and I don't know, I'm glad y'all like watching me just be me, you know? So, yeah, guys, I'll see you next time, and we will do another episode on this vacation. We will see how Janae does on her little date with that little, you know, Spanish poppy or whatever. She's so happy. She over here smiling. She can't stop smiling. She feeling him, y'all. She is. She over here flirting with him still. <laughs> All right, you guys, I love you so, 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 so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.